Coach Brandon here, and today we'll be covering is there a benefit to taking protein supplements in between meals? To answer this question, we'll go ahead and look at a systematic review entitled this. Um, not going to read off the entire title because it's very long and I'll likely butcher it, but what this review looked at was is there a benefit between or what's the better benefit between taking a protein supplement in between meals versus having a protein supplement with meals. And the conclusion here was that when it comes to weight, better weight control and reductions in body fat mass, having a protein supplement with a meal has a far greater effect. But the first question you likely have is what about people that want to gain muscle mass? How about changes in lean body mass? Now there's still, the answer there is that there's still no additive effect to having a protein supplement in between meals. While it's very well understood that you want your muscle protein synthesis to be at the most ideal level possible, still when you're having protein in a meal, um, in a meal setting, um, you're also having carbs, fat, fiber, other nutrients of this nature that significantly slows down the overall digestion of protein to a point where by the time you need more protein to aid muscle protein synthesis, the next meal is likely already on the table. Now the next question would be, how does it aid in reductions in body fat mass? Now the reason to answer this, we got to look at the satiating nature of protein. Um, it's been a long studied subject that liquid pre-feeding, I think is the name of it, or something of that nature, where somebody has a protein supplement, guzzles some kind of protein shake right before a meal, and they feel like far less calories are satiating, and they can get away with uh, eating far less of that meal and feel fuller. And it's the same thing with just eating more protein with a meal. Protein is a very satiating macronutrient. And then also, when it comes to taking a protein supplement in between meals, those calories add up quickly. Let's say you eat five meals a day, that's four uh, protein feedings in between meals, 150 calories a piece about, that's an additive 600 calories into your daily caloric intake. Now, if there's anything we know by now, looking towards the hierarchy of needs and body composition change, the first thing we need to establish before we have any kind of body composition change, and especially when we look at uh, reduction of body fat mass, you have to be in a calorie deficit. So those additive calories add up quick, and it's not really a point to doing so, especially when there's no additive benefit to muscle protein synthesis. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, when you look at trying to gain muscle mass, if you're somebody that struggles with getting the appropriate amount of calories to gain muscle mass, it might be a good idea to snack on a protein supplement in between meals, but it's a far better idea to have a calorie-dense snack that has a even or a ideal set of macronutrients that complements your daily macro goals. Uh, the overall conclusion here was that evenly dividing your protein throughout each and every meal throughout the day is a far better solution in both weight control, body fat mass loss, and then also there's no real added benefit to lean body mass in having a protein supplement in between meals. Uh, I think that about covers it for this topic. This is Brandon Morgan signing out.